Bailey ran a big poll. He was like, is Marvel anime? Guess what? Yeah. The answer is yes. The referendum was yes. So you better believe Street Fighter got a chance at that as well. All right, top eight winners. Brian D holding down the guile versus Diaphone's Kimberly. We're gonna have to do some mega work here if you're Diaphone to get things started. Yeah. Ryan B seems to take a lot of TS tournaments early, you know, and other yeah. tournaments too as well. If I get, you know, top eight, top three spots. Slide applied right there. Back throw puts him in the corner. Meaty boom. If you guys are tired of hearing perfect yet, when Knuckle Dude was playing in the last match, you better believe we're gonna hear a few more for Brian D. Crisp combo all the way through to the level one. Maximum drive rush potential available. Drive meter is gone now. Diaphone. That means any green dash is going to come strictly from Brian as he is bullying Damn. in the corner. Shoved him in a locker. Yeah. Took his lunch That money. was some high school stuff, bro. <laughs> Gave the swirly. You know what's wild is also like you, you mentioned that Sonic Blade. Such a good meaty option. Especially you have from Burnout. Like, you got to hold that, bro. Brian harassed with that crouch. You kick the single. Diaphone does. There it is. There's the answer. Stay on medium kick. Slide apply for that corner carry. Backs up for the answer. Did not get the crouch from the ears. Just did not time it right. Yeah, it sucks, man. You got the spray can down. You're ready to start stringing these things together. And then Brian gets a crucial jump out. Your anti-air whiffs. Low on HP. But Brian is low on gauge. If we can get close and sort of pepper in some strings somehow, drain the rest of this drive meter from Guile, we could have a chance. But now, look at this. Just a couple seconds to wish. What? The TI? Let's go. He's still alive. Try to go for the like, four medium kick, the Sobato. Yo, that's a great poke tool, but drive impactable all the same. Now, level three, he's in business, and this is real bad here for Brian. In burnout, off that low, gets to pick him off the target combo. Drive rush Beautiful. on the low once again to reset the situation to get the win. Diaphone playing his tunes. Ultra troll song, man. I love that it just loops the same little tune the whole way through. This is, this is if I was a Kimberly player, this would be one of the most compelling decisions to play this character. Straight up troll. Big teleport in into the coast to coast low confirm get us started again in the corner azuna drop no we're just gonna reset oh you thought you were gonna perfect create my safe jump wrong my guy punish counter and a follow-up combo is he dead oh, he's, he's dead. dead brother this is she ain't got damage 11 percent bust up up also in the corner for the mix huh damn dial i thought Perfect. brian was winning bro what happened oh, what happened God. Well, so what happened was she put you in the corner, bro. Call corner. Jump in, walk up, throw diaphone, riding that momentum, getting hit with the Sonic Boom, but nothing doing in terms of a follow up. Brian, though, that was nasty. He's got to be careful right now. The yeah, diaphone operates. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's more pensive. Now I'll try rushing forward with the medium punch, trying to find an opening. Perfect. Kyle doing what to do. That was max range, and we didn't spend any overdrive on it. Well done from Brian. And the green dash combo. Okay, looking good. Yo. Okay, Brian's back. Yeah. Diaphone up in the corner for a medium kick. Careful of that drive impact. You see him stack yourself a little bit more, so he's not getting uh, <laughs> clip with a drive impact. And oh, these Sonic Boom, that's a wrap. <laughs> About as quick as they come, as far as it comes from our, our OD projectiles. Sonic Boom so fast, lightning fast, big damage, closes it out. Go see, I love the neutral. I love the variants of the chat. I hate Gal. I love Gal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Always been a, a controversial character, right? You either love him, or you hate him. One of the World Warrior classics since day one. Split down the middle. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. Diapo has a one the corner once again. So the decision. Ooh, Where's the dead. throw? When you grab your demons? Oh, that wasn't enough for the finish. Oh. I think the level three was buffed up. You would have been able to get the kill. Mm. Next hit will. OD flash kick. Puts it back, but he's back in. Slid in the DMs immediately said, hey, what's up? Yeah, the Kim pressure sequences are so <laughs> overwhelming. It's it's definitely like, uh, I know this is Bushin Ryu, right? It's, it's not a style that we haven't seen before, but I feel like in Street Fighter VI, there is even more potential than we've seen in previous games. That's true. Oh, just Zuka in the chops. Nice conversion. Level three, got on the Sonic Steppers right now. Right foot off the shoes. I like it, sets up the boom. Really, we're just gonna level three through that? Who? The OD flash kick, did he know? Cola, Cola There's no way, know? there's no know? way. That's happy access right there, it's a punish, Brian D.
still will take that for free. Bro, you'll take that. That was hated to you. Wow. There's so many weird situations where like drive impact and OD flash kick it like the impact will whip and you'll be like, yeah, you recover in time, you're like, yeah, I'm a god. I'm actually a god. <laughs> yeah, just guile stuff, my man. That is uh, that is a rich, rich option if that's something that you can dial in, in the future. But for now, Diaphone back into this round one of the third game. Or the second game, excuse me. What is he doing? He gets a conversion, thank goodness, because it almost got away from him. Oh, big punish counter, but he drops again. Oh, they're getting nervous. They're playing good. Mm -hmm. Flash kick, anti right there. Midi Sonic Boom, nothing you really do. Ain't got no bar to parry. Crouching Midi Kick, and look at that chipping away. Diaphone's almost back at business with a drive gauge. He can start his own party walk up throw, though. Brian D, not so much bars. He has to go for the activation for that level two situation. In the corner. Like, jump. Scary. Please jump. Yeah. He's like, Please jump. Yeah, jump. Oh, oh. yeah, it was good. Look at it. Just peppering in buttons. He knows that only a couple more hits would do this. The trade. Not able to finish. He throws him out of the overhead. A diaphone could lose. The slide in. Oh, but Brian D's back in. He's got to get aggressive. Active You're the kidding. overhead. Diaphone is kidding. insane. I'm going to puke. That was so clutch. <laughs> Scary situation. Very, very scary. But iPhone showing no fear. Just goes in, clutches out the win on the round. Now Brian's gonna have to fight back. Bite down the mouth, mouthpiece. He spent meter. That sucks. It's okay. We gotta dig deep and get this dub. Damage medium. Brian get a little more active now. I'll get him to throw a meaty boom again. Ooh. Sonic Boom's gotta be careful that upside down kick with the Sopanto drive. Impact. You're will. kidding me. Will that cut through? It You're will. Kidding. Too close. You're too close, bro. Top eight of a of a of TNS. Of course they're gonna be ridiculous. But sheesh. Oh, back to neutral. Oh. Kick. Oh, they're playing so tight, man. No, Not no, the biggest no combo. Mm -hmm. The drops go. Oh. oh, the impact doesn't hit. Yeah, <laughs> you can't write this stuff. He has no bar. Can he finish this? That was so comfortable, no. but not enough. He puts himself in the corner. Oh, wait, we'll seal it. Sonic Boom gets a knockdown. He's oh, in burnt up, but we're not out of It's the super hot diaphone. He said, brother, it's time for you to call it quits. Kimberly wins. It's not over yet, though. I feel like done all this work and all this absolute scrap we've seen in this set, it's only a 2-1 oh, lead to Diaphone. He's got to get one more game still to close this out and move ahead in the winner's finals of TNS. Weekly on the Wednesday, baby. You know he wants it. I haven't seen Diaphone in the time for yet of our turn, so yeah. I would love to have him there. Kim players rise up. Rise up, Kim players. Ouch. Also, Street Fighter Five stuff. Guy was trying to shut again. it down. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put another W on my mm. side of things. Brian, the drop? The, the drop though. I went for one of like a metered combo, and just recognize that he didn't have the bar. Ooh. How, can he do this side switch? That's a great way to start it. No level one. From Brian, just holding it. Counter hit is good, but we're going to be almost out of burnout. Jump back. Nice choice from Brian. Do we have enough Impact to right take back. Less damage? He oh, does. Brother. He's enough life, enough life to lead right there. Sets out the can. Let it land. Air to air right there. That wasn't enough for the kill. You can't the eye back. The slide's applied. Oh, the call up. But not enough. The Impact. What the hell? You're time. dead. No, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> So these these players are playing so fast, so quick. And our it's our first match of top eight, guys. A huge top eight rest of the of the night tonight, and already such a banger off the top. Brian just whiffs a throw right in front of Diaphone. He immediately combos in level three. What are you grabbing? Nothing's there but your demons. The punish and the buff up. See my SoundCloud. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, put him in that burnout. Back throw, walks up back throw. He gets that. Ooh, dangerous. Oh, I thought he was gonna drive rush. Crouching fierce, but just goes to the low though. That crouching medium kick. He now gets the knockdown. Vagabond. The overhead. Brian D is in trouble. He burns himself out, but this doesn't matter because it's shit. No dip either way. Diaphone on set point. I don't know what to say, man. The Kimberly play from Diaphone tonight has been so exquisite. Really flexing so many of the options from this character. The the offensive sequences, of course, have been crazy. But also in neutral, the pokes. He's getting so much off of poking a drive rush and drive rush into throw. He's really, he's really playing some Street Fighter Six right now. Mm-hmm. 
Bobby playing that bad too right there. There's the anti-air. The answer is doing a drop. And that should be that Diaphone 3-1 against Brian Day. Moving on to winners finals. Y'all said Kim wasn't working out here. But it's good. Diaphone is. He said, pick up the phone, bro. Like four or five different characters. He can play Akuma, yeah. uh, DiCaprio, even Seth. Like, seriously. He, he was a, a round robin of characters. So maybe Shine's trying to emulate that style a little bit. We'll see how the Marisa goes in this first match. I love this stage theme, by the way. It's so sick. Got to be one of my favorites. Like, it's so sick, bro. Oh, it's starting off. Yeah. Really? <laughs> okay. Oh. Shine, careful now. You close the burnout. I feel like this is one of those matchups that's like not bad because the damage factor, but you know, Cammy really blows up what uh, Marisa does not want to deal with, and that's having to deal with throws up on defense. Throws blow up a lot of what Marisa wants to do. Also, the crouching to kick too as well. But it doesn't matter when the damage is dealing and doled out. This is bad. Bro, he just oh. smacking knuckle oh, through dude, around. Yes. That's the end of the round. Meteorite almost good night. One more hit. One more touch. I love that Marisa level two, by the way. Such a sick combo ender. One poke will do it here. Knuckle dude's gotta be so careful. Probably looking for a nice ca cannon spike. <laughs> Look it right Ballers. out of my mouth, my friend. Beautiful Ooh. option from Shine. Looked like he didn't play Marisa his whole life. You know what's wild is that, you know, this character is kind of anti Street Fighter 6, being able to strike back even though they're in for them, just like that, the anti-air. Well spaced. Okay, I'm sorry, Sean. You got a Marisa. I'm, 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 let me just, I didn't know you was like that OG. I mean, Jeez. I'm looking at uh, well, a solid almost 60,000 LP on this master Marisa. Definitely been putting in some time with this character. Triple do try, trying to make it happen though. Yo, Ray, he's putting it in with that stance. Are we gonna side switch? Yes, we are. Nope, we get the safe jump though. What a conversion. Hello, Shine. Hello, Shine. Off the trade. Marisa wins. Uh, Knuckle do. I'm surprised getting kind of cooked up by this Marisa, but the neutral has been fantastic. Yeah, he's like, okay, Guile. It's time to go to the guy. For a <laughs> he while. couldn't get back to Guile. Time to go to the guy for a while. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay, okay, you got your first one. You got your first one. It's funny because I feel like Guile would have been good against all these characters. But the, it, the matchup between Guile and Marisa is like, you can stop a lot of what Marisa wants to do, but all it takes is like one interaction you're through. Like, mm -hmm. you got to work a little bit harder to get that damage doled out. But man, if you're on the back foot, it sucks. It definitely sucks. It does suck. It does. So we'll see. Oh, man. Kyle's locked in. No yeah. surprises there. That Cammy was not working out. I don't know what was going on. My man was pressing when he should in the media situations. Caught count with the counter hits. And, uh, yeah, that was a blow up. Yeah, that was the first a blow up. Mm. All right. Kyle. Good choice, I'd say. I don't think anybody's contesting that. Anytime you have a nice, uh, solid projectile character to give Marisa some problems, she will just jump over it and punch you in the face. They're lying. Still, Shine still off the better. Gets knocked down. Yeah. The projectile game has to be perfect. Recovers in time to get that flash kick. Absolutely fine right here. Ooh, did not have the conversion. Wow. This is real bad. Close it up in the corner. Also, you have a lot of bar to give in terms of drive gauge and even health. Oh. Try to get the command grab reset. Did not happen. Up Shine gets over top of another Sonic Boom. Knuckle Dew within just one exchange of dying. Shine not much farther either, though. Especially at that OD Sonic Boom connecting. I'm gonna try to land all perfectly. the way through this burnout, man. Yeah, back it up. Overhead. Yeah, has to back away. One more hit. Maybe chip, no oh. dip. Flash kick. Woo, if you were just a second later, you would have died. Very close, razor thin. The knuckle dude navigates it as you need to if you're a guile player in this match. If he goes empty jump low there, kind of cheeky. If he gets a counter hit, get a flash kick right after from the Sonic Guile, so I don't mind it. My Sonic Blade, you see the variance in terms of Sonic Booms and the Sonic Blade too as well. A lot of perfects, trying to find the overhead. Jab right after, nothing right after. Ouch. Does find a flash kick. The Super Woman Punch. Ouch. Flash kick again! Stop jumping on me. But it's so hard to, to not want to. Really drive rush damn medium kick just any airs in that situation. Well done, Shine. Got not much left here. Gonna have one last gasp. Not even. Perfect KO. Knuckle Dude closes it out. Ties it up one to one with the Guile. Are we gonna stick to Marisa or are we gonna switch it up to Chun? Looks like we're going to character select. 
<laughs> rotation from back and forth. I agree that you definitely have to have that rotation. I feel like for some of these uh, players, we, I mean, Sean also rotated a few characters too as well. He had a Buki, he had Cody when need be, so he switched up mm -hmm, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. He had the Lucia too as well, so he's not new to the uh, the switch ups as well. But uh, the Street know, Fighter it's baby, a, it's, it's, bro, but that's what you know. Some of these players they live better in switching up. Some of them don't need to, even if they play a weaker character or a character that has bad matchups they write it out depends on the player yeah 100 percent. yeah there's a specialist ride or die mentality or you know there's the diversify and conquer mentality you, you play the matchups you be competent enough in enough characters round the edges together and make a game plan there's absolutely nothing wrong with either strategy you know sort of a depth versus breath mentality and shine choosing breath in this instance choosing another character and it can work out, especially with uh, with players who want to blind pick you and kind of and, and rope you out on what characters you play. If you get ahead in that first blind pickup matchup, you kind of have the initiative, you know? That's true. So the jump is fine here from Shine. Pretty good. Shining so out with this. Yeah. Beautiful. Ooh. Face out the OD flash kick. Shine will find a follow up right here and the super won't seal it. I feel about, sequence, oh though. my god. Oh, Think about dude just them. ripping it back to back so early like that. What's that saying? saying that he uh, understands how to play against the player. And he's been a really good like player versus player sort of player. Like, you know, matchups and stuff like that, he plays around it, but oh, you Rob? see a player on that, that could have been it. What? This is with punish. You can hit him with oh. anything. More. <laughs> nice, nice string. Dude, just peppering it together, walking him all the way to the corner. Gets the drive impact, are you kidding me? How do we set this up? How do we set this up? He reached in another him. impact. Yo, nasty son of a gun. One more hit though. Face oh, up the old G kid show. You what? thought, yeah, and honestly, I thought too. That was going to be chip no dip. It wasn't. These guys won in a bad. You can tell in the way that they're playing, going after it. Chat, I'm going to give you a secret. The bigger the pot, the more they heat up. Come on now, start dropping some ducats in there if you can. Oh, the super lands. Can't throw out the fireball when I got that level two. I'm gonna get that pickup. Drop you off at the corner. Ooh, jumps out, disengages a little bit. I don't hate that. C controls the space, keeps guy on the corner, finds the drive rush. We drop. Ooh, that's gotta be the first time we've seen him drop it there. So unfortunate for Shine and now holding his combo. Oh, Back to the level two. Yeah, safe stuff right here. Looking for that slide. And Knuckles with a punish and finds the meaty no vegan off the Sonic Boom to seal it. And burnout. Nothing you can really do. Just think about Street Fighter 6. It's about the, what happened earlier. That it's sucks, your fault. Man. You're <laughs> absolutely right because Shine, I think, made the correct choice in moving to Chun here. It's been working really well. And those rounds look fine. There's just a couple of really bad drops, really unfortunate situations. Oh, no. Now it's just shooting gallery. Do is teeing off. Mm -hmm. Letting the red finds a punish counter on those Zanchu. He actually caught the side switch, walked underneath, and finds a punish counter. The awareness from Knuckle Do. God dang. One more hit. We'll do with the flash kick to seal the deal. Shine. Bob to the losers. We're gonna do something different. Knuckle Do on set point. Board bread. <laughs> I even not. I, I hear it. I hear it. Hundred percent. Okay, the, oh, the reversal comes out on the right side. That's fortunate for dude. Forces Shine back into the space. War. That guy has been completely dominating, both in button and in special move. Just smothering Chun Li with all these options right now in the neutral. Almost a jump in there. Almost. Trying to get those crushing light kicks every so often. Trying to find a jump in. Really? A throw there. To do. Yeah. Oh, attack. Though does not connect. Nice counter Nine combo checks. on the same light punch. Gotta do this. Puts this up in the burnout though. Pretty scary situation. Especially if I was about to say you get a corner switch. Dude jumps out. Come on! Yes. Oh my oh, goodness. Scary Stand for who? Not for Shine. He's picking us continuously. Walks Any all the way through, recovers his burnout. That was smart. You know, you do a long combo to get your burnout right back in business. In that Great action, able to seal the deal. Had to spend all that bar, not for like a level three, but level two and a level one to get it done. That was smart. Hold on, Shine kind of know this character. Yeah, and I mean, we saw it in the last game that do one. I really feel like Shine was in a plenty of advantage many times. 
Just those unfortunate drops. And now if we can clean it up, load it up two to two, you'd be in a great position if you're Shine. A juggle in the corner would get things started in a beautiful way. That was so meaty. Crush him in a kick, but nothing after it. Shine has to keep him locked up in the corner. For how long, though? Interrupts a drive rush. Stopped and stopped. About to seal it. Empty low this time. The blocks, though, from Michael through. Defense, impact, no hit, though. Burn Shines at burnout. Burn did buy a lot of space, though. We get to put booms back on the screen. We jump. The OD Sonic Boom, that's huge if you're Shine. We're almost out of burnout. What a check! He went for that overhead so many times. Shine was ready. Pulls out the level two super, ties it up two to two. Okay, Shine. Okay, Shine. This yeah. Yeah. was the way. The Chun Li was the way. Kimberly, who? I'm sorry, chat. Let my man live. Let my man live. Hey, Marisa got a point on the board, too. That's you true. Gotta, that's true. You got to give her respect. The ladies are putting in work tonight. Shine presses back while in the corner. Drive rush overhead is blocked. Oh, I feel like he was stiffening it up a little bit, man. Psych. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you thought? More these side of things coming through. Ooh. Ooh, almost got jumped in and oh, yo, Punk raid? jumping in with the nasty rain. What's up, Punk? What up, baby? Friend of the show, friend of the Wednesday night. We love seeing you compete pretty much every week. One of our most hyped competitors, and thank you for the monster raid. Welcome, guys. We are in the top eight, winner's side, two to two. Knuckle Dude versus Shine right now. Knuckle Dude putting on crazy pressure. Shine able to parry. Looking for us, aren't you? But too far the distance. If it whiffs just like that, you're gonna get clipped, and that's it. Knuckle Dude on set point. You see how he backs up to adjust himself. Falls prey to the Sonic Boom. And that's a trap, the zoning trap. Called it. Comes with years of experience too, setting up those sequences. Very, very even moving into this round though. Shine patient, finds the crouching medium kick confirm, moves him forward towards the corner, spins one bar. Ooh, there comes that blade, brother. Mm -hmm. Out and about, now the activation level two. Sonic bracelets. Walks underneath, does not find the best punish. Brave. But still, almost in burnout. What you're really aiming for right here. Maybe Sonic Boom gets the knockdown. Shine, now in a bad position. But it's, listen here. It's not over. One this of the could start the party. Oh. Flash kick, knockdown. That ain't no way. Oh, no. that's so unfortunate. Okay. He teased us with a beautiful punish. Just barely too far. Blue grinders. When it comes to online tournaments, for sure, you're gonna see him entering in just about anything that he can. Repping the blue kin. Uh, very, very, I would say, strong kin. Also, you know, not just a grinder, but a punisher. Taking a lot of wins from other players. Very, very scary to run into a bracket. And no other prodigy with the loot that we saw from earlier today. Yeah, shout out to Chris. He won the uh, PAX game event that I was at. Pax West took down Cero in the uh, grand final set. Pretty dominant with the kin. You know, my man definitely has some hot things to say about JP that a lot of people agree with. But when it comes time to put hands on the six, he puts hands on the man. However, Noah has been cooking too as well. We've seen him on a lot of top threes. He's been running too as well. Perfect parry punish and has Tati for the Oki. Makes him hold the throw. Chris is playing some like. Uh really solid Street Fighter 6 stuff too. You know, it's like the uh, the Evo winner, the, the drive rush into the jab. Beautiful setup for the Shoto offense. Great juggle confirms there. Well done from Chris, closing out the first round. Some pin stuff, baby. Mm -hmm. Coming in hot to make the drop, I like that. Chris, the perfect Ooh, variant, you know, I was just about to mention how on point he is at stuffing and stopping these fireballs, these projectiles. However, no one sneaks in that crouching mini kick. Side switch, backs away, looking for that DP play. He gets it, and that was late as hell, but just on time. Late and just on time. The dragon punch was good too, punishing those neutral drums. That's not something that you want to let people get away for free. No, we'll go straight into level three here, man, because I need to slow it down. Take me to Memphis. Man, what's in Memphis? I don't, don't let me ask that. I got in trouble last time. <laughs> ODDP immediately gets a drive rush. Very smart option. It's that reversal. Ooh. You might be seeing as a rebuttal, like, you know, they stuff and stop. You know, they, they break. Oh, that stand light punch. And she forward. The DI was not a bad option there, but because the life bar was so low, we weren't able to get to that third hit of armor. Closes them out. Ties up the rounds. No, looking pretty solid. Man, y'all are right. This is like a middle school fight right here. <laughs> <laughs> They're both kids. I, I don't care how old Chris gets, bro. He's still a kid. 
Yeah, and this look at this corner push, which is the most important thing. You can't throw out the fireballs. Noah does find a way out with a crouching medium punch. It feels like every time he's putting up with the front, he finds a way out. I really like how Noah is checking and strings with buttons. He's challenging with jabs and the crouching medium punch and really good timings. But Chris has so far been been, been cashing in on damage when he gets it. Just like this. Gonna get the juggle. Yes, sir. That burnout. Still gets hit with the wake-up buttons in the corner. We gotta see some more mean situations. Finds the overhead. Nah, are you kidding me? That's gotta be BM. Didn't complete the conversion. Waits a little bit. Was like, okay, I got the overhead. I'm gonna hold this pair and just wait for you to run that super, bro. It happened to Punk. Chris said, "Hey, what happened to me?" Step two trades. Noah ready with the anti air, fighting for space. Doesn't get trapped in the corner, but is gonna eat a massive jumping combo and get thrown in the corner. Okay, just wakes up and back throws him. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice gift from Chris. Fights out again. Dragon Lash get that side switch DP ender right there, meaty fireball. Just seeing what Noah is doing. Oh, he wakes up with drive rush, light punch. Oh, really? Jimmy's him with just a raw throw. Get the wake up, OD, uppercut. Chris says, I don't want any of this. Send me back to neutral, man. Trying to walk in, but you gotta be careful with that crouching medium kick. Even that crouching light kick is nasty. Close enough for like a crouching light punch right after. Fireballs. Crouching nice medium kick into fireball. Classic Shoto stuff right here. Love to see it. Oh, really? He just walks up and whips a parry in his face. Chris opens it up with a punish counter. That's a good way to start. We're down on drive stocks. We know him. Yikes. Finds a gap. ODDP immediately. Ooh, what a Finds punish. a punish counter. Yeah, I guess the crouching mini kick. We've seen that so often from Noah. Chris has found an answer. Who teased the anti air? So don't you dare put out a button, man. I do it, bro. Dry rush. Throw this on the tech. There's that challenge again. He's finding the timing. But we missed the juggle. Doesn't matter. We find the follow up situation. This is going to put Chris in the burnout. Not dead. But a pretty bad situation. Yeah, this is real bad. And burnout. Noah's back in business. Really? The jumping. I thought he was going to get that bar back in time, but he actually gets aggressive with it. Someone pointed out previously no hesitation. Nice. No more timidity no from this tag. None. What a work punish from Chris though, man. Max distance, crouching medium kick, leading into a combo, puts Noah in the corner. Luke fighting with his back against the wall. Ooh. What? Tries to drive rush and just gets kicked in the team. The OD Jin Rides lets it fly. Kind of crazy. Stan Fierce, nothing right after that for the finish. Stan heavy kick though. Chris is jailing him in the corner. The Stan light kick, that's it, the perfect. The jailing situation here from Chris has been fantastic. Light punch, light kick, which has been what he needed to do earlier, where no, just wake up with buttons continuously. Yeah. Funny answers. This has been pretty competitive, but a 2 0 lead for Chris right now says it all. He's getting the edge on all these situations, even though they go back and forth. All right, pick up with the perfect knuckle combos, Chaser. The chase down with that Oki. Walk up throw, the MMA in play for that knockdown. So funny, Another dude. one. Laid him on the mat. Ooh, catches him in the jaw. Big combo for Noah. Gonna be able to cash out without the bar. Well done. Two meters now for that uh, for that loop, which is pretty scary. That's two level ones if he wants it. Or potentially building to a big cash out level three. Noah, a little bit more pensive. Go out the fireballs. Oh. Does find the shimmy, but not the conversion that he wanted. Nothing after that stand fierce punish counter. Could have been them perfect knuckle combos, bro. I like these really tight spacings that Chris is walking in and out of. He's just like walking forward and sitting. You know, he's like daring buttons to come out, not overextending, playing really, really calculated. Oh, but a good dry rush jab from Noah. Starts things off. Yeah, I like that range that he's standing at. Peppering these lights and fireballs. However, Noah has some in the corner, dash up throw. Noah getting anti air. The DP comes through from Chris at the last time. Last moment, I should say. Mm. Damn, drive flush, high mm. punch starter. Jesus, Lord Christ. Mm. Woo it's a little bit burnout. Not dead. OD fireball or normal fireball. Any kill here. Just take it. Just take it. Oh, no. Just kidding. No. Just kidding. 
I will never lay down. I will press the button until the end. Please don't hit me. No, I'm dead. No. <laughs> Wow. You know, it makes sense to maybe not throw out a fireball, I guess, because there's bar at the bottom. You could have level three on reaction. But also maybe back up and then throw the fireball. But still, either said than done. No one just has a sense for throwing out the supers, bro. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but Chris starts off the game four with the babiest <laughs> anti-air dragon punch of all time. Starts off a good situation, though. Luke is in the corner. Decently even on drive stocks, pulling away a little bit for loot, but Crystal has that corner advantage. Gotta get a jump in, block though, stand fierce and a fireball, simple stuff right here. Kicks Nothing fancy, stand heavy team. kick. Yeah, again, that same heavy kick, really good against the buttons that maybe Chris likes to present up in the corner. Oh, call a corner, it's over. Right. Perfect KO, set point for Chris. Cat jam alert, another stage banger. I feel like people get more aggressive when this uh, stage music song. Absolutely. Because it's, it's banging, bro. Blood's going. Big punish from Chris. Three combos now. Noah basically on life support. He actually missed the punish on the Houdini uppercut. He just does it. That's it, really. Almost out of health, though. Not an option. Drive rush, light punch, started a whip punish. Crouching medium kick. Didn't commit to that four fierce conversion. Can he bring it back? Bro. Don't be a salesman, as my boy Jammers would say. That nice. should be the end of the drive rush. Follow up. We've seen that in the beginning, and we're seeing it as a closer. Chris CCH seals it at level three. Yeah, I would like to check in with my bracket correspondent in the field. That would be uh, Twitch chat. If anybody mm -hmm. could let me know who actually put Chris into losers, I'd be really interested. Let's go, Floozy. Let's ho I hope I get to see you next time in the top eight side, but we're going to move on yeah. into this Ken mirror, baby. I like this ugly, kind of green-looking Ken. I'm not even gonna lie. It's mean, the, it's gritty. The Booger Ken? <laughs> it's not beautiful. It is, yeah, that's Booger Ken. Green Bean Ken. Checks we'll call it that. Be nice. Nice little DDP. Again, against Drive Rush, very smart option. So we might see people hold the brakes right back at him. Anything you can do, I can do better. Burnout for crossover, though. This sucks. Then you get pushed in the corner. All this burnout time left. Really? You get checked? After the plus, what, five dragon left? Yikes. Hella nasty. Enhanced Stansu for the Oki. Frame kill, 600 drive impact. What a sequence. And now, trying to get the finish right here. Jump here, starter. Spinning all the bar to go far. Mm. Real. That was beautiful. I'm not even going to lie. Great round from Ariel. Start to finish. Stepped on the gas, took all the momentum from crossover, didn't let them get back in. Good jab punish, okay. I see you. But an even bigger jump in from crossover. Gonna spin a little cheddar here. Yeah, that level two. That corner carry. Damn near burn them out, drive rush. Go right after punish counter. Not sure what they were doing, but they got caught lacking. Back to mid screen. OD fireball oh. right against Stan Fear situation. <laughs> Fist to face to put him in a place. Not enough for the finish. They would have had OD that would have killed, but the jab will. Ooh. Is so good. He's, good. Yeah. he's really good. He's really jump good. Okay. In. Yeah, yeah. He's he's messed up. Jump in. Big jump in too. Tries to back up, but get into anti air. Nobody home. The cross up air tattoo is good. Now crossover gets the throw loop situation. We check with the jab. We get the juggle. Drop the confirm. Though. Side switch in level three immediately. I tell you to go for the DP so we can get that cutscene with the maximum damage. Kill the drive gauge too as well. Closer, closer. He said, bet that hurt. Yeah, drive rush throw. That definitely hurts. And burn out, the impact, and we wake up with a level one to get outside that corner situation and to stave off that impact in the death. Okay, crossover has a chance though. I was about to say, if we can find a way to keep our distance, letting our opponent get in and start hitting dragon lashes, that's not it. Jab and here into the juggle shore, you can know. Pretty solid. Watches it out, full screen. We get in and we get the dub. Nice and done. Instant rematch. No DJ to be found. Immediately. Immediately. Maybe the DJ is ready. Maybe he just thinks that he's, you know, okay at the, the mirror match. Honestly, it's close. It's he definitely close. Yeah, these players yeah. feel pretty even in the match right now in the Ken mirror. I'm liking what we're seeing. It's been a treat. Uh -oh. Drive rush conversion for the corner character. Oh. not get the fault. They had stop to. A little drop right there. Still feel the light in the DP. Like that stand roundhouse, you're a little bit too far to go for the DP and here, just sort of check them as they land. But a counter stand roundhouse from crossover finds it a big hit. Just OD. Does not care. I'm spinning. Mm -hmm. away from 
These fireballs Yo. from the fairy. Side switch, Dragon Lash, or Enhanced Hatsu. Oh, he goes for the Dragon Lash side switch. I like it. Perfect berry right back at him. Oh, we playing third strike. Throw his oh. tech. That's big. Really, really big. That's the second layer to that dry rush. Makes a follow up. We do get the anti air as he hits the ground. Back dash into back throw. Are you kidding me? Crossover just gets lumped into the corner. One more hit. Real. Really? ODDP burst himself out though. So we'll go Dragon Lash into, into, or just a stand medium kick to seal it. You're right. like, yo, come to me. Oh, you're approaching me? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like that style, by the way. Just yeah. back up, say, come at me. You're going to take one hit and die. Puts out the perfect button, checks him. Good cross cut DP, though, from crossover. Booger Ken in danger. Oh. Yo, you see the shimmy, the finesse of West that Stan Fierce? Real they smart stuff too. here. Yeah, Jin, Jin Ryan. Oh. Damn, and the crouch fierce on the shimmy again. Yurio caught lacking in terms of defense. Yeah, he definitely gave up a little bit too much. Just sort of went for the throw attacks. It's something that you see a lot of players usually wait further into the layers. Crossover gets a big jump in heavy punch as well. ODDP, yeah, the gap. As soon as you get that, ODDP immediately. Crossover. How does he get in? How does he get in now? Let's the Jim Ryan fly. And there's the fault here from Uriel. Level three. It's going to put the crossover closer to Burnout, I feel like, or on Burnout's door. Yeah, what would he fireball? We'll put him in Burnout. There it is. Really? Oh, but steps ahead. Really? Level three. Wow. Oh. Hey, crossover. He's like, hey, man. I know you're going to want to put that OD fireball on me and finish off this Burnout. That's my way to get back into this. Just checks the option. Oh, he tries to oh, he tries to DR follow up. We missed the dragon punch in here, and crossover just jumps in while in burnout and punches him in the face. Punches the face. You know that, like, as a kid player, or when you fight oh. something that just that you're like, damn, that button sucks, bro. I mean, like, it getting hit by that button. Now I know what other people feel. <laughs> now I understand the, the kin plates that people have. Nice cross cut DP right there. We try to walk back into the shimmy throw. Did not work out cross though. Cut cross cut DP. Again. He's so ready. Oh, thanks. Thanks, production. The key and the jacket right there. Now you definitely know who is on what. Oh, that's good. Taking care of the colorblind homies out there. We back out of the neutral jump situation. Okay. Feeling it out with the stand roundhouse. The neutral's looking pretty soft from both players as Uriel just walks up and hits a dagger of a crouching medium kick. Overhead, nice overhead. combo. Yes, sir. Medium no vegan. Runs that DP right after drive. Oh, you see even just the run, not even drive rush. The drive rush will get it done, but that run Oki off that crouching light kick to seal it. He's up around. Big jump in, man. You know that feels good if you're a Ken player. We bait the reversal as well, and it's going to cost a stock meter, but we drop our combo. Hello? Got to keep it locked. Got to lock in. Light punch, drive rush in. Did not get the DP. Definitely wanted the DP, I feel like, instead of that button. Now getting drive impacted, more troubles. Pick up with the neutral jump, ends it with the DP. Simple stuff here, mm. crossover. Had the meeting, but did not continue that conversion. Could have been into the target combo, but more. Yeah, be so careful right now if you're Uriel, but actually, psych. I'll just find a jump in into a level three and take this game. Moving up two one over crossover here in the top eight neutral side. A little less close than previously. Yeah. So do we see the DJ? Do we get the man with the maracas? Nah, nah, nah. Crossover sticking through it, 100%. You're right. You're right. Crossover on his last life for this tournament, gonna be with Ken. Look at these guys, man. They are just checking each other at the most insane distances. He returns in kind. But he's in burnout. Out, yeah. May not be bad to put him in the corner and uh, really working. But just having that reversal so nasty, that means Jim Rice are not going to be allowed. Stand Fierce, DP immediately. Really? Stand Fierce again this time, needy. No follow up, though. Jim Rice again to get in. Uriel not letting off the gas, and there we go. Revs up for the throw. Love that, that OD Tatsu escape. Great tool and Ken's kid that we rarely see. Oh, oh that's big. Really that's big. Dragon Lash? Yes, sir. DP. More sequence right here to seal the deal. Crossover also earning some bar back by being aggressive, which is real good. He was almost a burnout. Mm-hmm. Jump, un unchecked. That's kind of scary. 
But Uriel just fights back with the target combo. Hello, level two combo. Very, very close. We'll crossover and burnout. He's got to be afraid he's a Doki Zen. He's worried about like run DP. That's enough. Whipping. He oh, grabs him man. out of it. What? The grip to do it. <laughs> Cole, you knew that? I did I not actually. That. I did not. I did not actually. I did not actually. I got to read the data. And I play this character. I've never been thrown out of my uh, my level two. I ain't going to lie. That's. Oh, oh my lord. Buffkin. Anyway, Yuri about to get that win. So close. Also, we're fighting back, though. And in big control here. Big life lead. A lot of green stocks on deck. We can make something happen. Close out this round just like that. Good whiff punish. Oh no, the crouch fears by the finish. Crossover, staving off set point. It's, Chris, it's never happened to me, okay? No one mashes throw like that. No one does drive rush throw up on my stuff like that, bro. Crossover opens this round with a back to back drive rush sequence. Spins a lot of stocks, moves Ariel to the corner. Really? We're, we're spinning the level three on a perfect parry, so this is really not going to stack on a whole lot of damage. Compared to what it could be, I mean, it's, it's still a lot of damage. Yeah, it's still good. It's still good. Oh. It's a heavy kick, though. Crossover looking for like a dry rush. Converge off a cross for a kick, possibly. These fireballs, he finds his way in. Oh. Sweep as a whip punish, finds a frame kill. No overhead, though. Yuriel trying to take it back with a throw. Not going to happen, though. No go, Bozo. No it. go, Bozo. What? Just not the cutscene, though. Just the normal one, though. Does not get the burnout. Oh, way to be. Really, that's so tragic. No bars. He throws him. Cola. Those are the DI. Dragon Lash is an anti right there. He gets the super. He's alive. Okay, he's alive. I'm so scared. He's in Burno. He puts himself in Burno. No, the jab. You put yourself in Burno with that OD fireball, but that's all it took for cross off, cross over to take it. Oh, I cross over, cross fire right now. My man is on fire. What am I talking about? Final game! The two. Game five, but it looked like, honestly, Uriel was ready to wrap this up. Crossover fights out back to back. Disrespect. Neither player willing to just accept the other's game plan. I'm, I'm breaking down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a noise this, this is Ken Mirror, baby. Come on. Oh, six in the crouch. You can kick Jin, right? Yeah. Looking Run, good. yeah. Drop. Drop. Big oh, drop. Massive drop. The... And that's where side, side switch. switch. Yeah, crossover, oh. please. You're gonna get a big punish here. Earl, you got a big, you got to dig deep. Find the solid within, because right now you are getting pieced up, my friend. Careful now. The aim burn on his crossover. Oh, oh no the DP said, "What's up, go to a goblin? We don't get solved." What? Put the DP right back. Leave this man hobbling, bro. DP the toe tap. This is definitely like late in the fight. Both players have taken, both fighters have been taking massive punches to the head. And they're just like, why won't you die, man? They're doing the same thing to each other right now. Crossover taking a big lead and what could be the final round. The loop has been started. Neutral jump. We could have done a little Level bit three. more. Okay, but not the cutscene. DP, what's the wake up? Oh, OD, wake up. Look at all these DPs. Oh. Fainted out. Crossover taking it back from the freak. She fights Shoto's. This is kind of what she's always done historically. Presents the wall to the Shoto moveset. Let's see if Shine is going to be able to stay solid. Good start. Okay. Chris gets the check, though. I love Chris's gameplay, like with Drive Rush, Light Punch, and things like that. Yeah. That just sets up the party for this character. It reminds me of, like, Tokido and some other, other players, but he definitely has his old style and sauce. That's why he's up here. That's why he's in these top eights doing work. He's on top of the trends, man. The Street Fighter 6 trends. Anything that you think is kind of cheap in this game, stuff that's hard to deal with, hard to react to, you better believe he's implementing Ooh. a new game plan. Awkward situation with that perfect parry. Chris still getting the better in these corner situations. The crowd fears Shimmy. I saw that distance. ODDP shine with the bust out. Not a lot of health to give. Oh, he would have got anti air jab. He would have might have died. You actually would have died, but survives the shine. Gets a walk up throw. Ooh. Look at that burnout. Stacks up early. 
Shine in a dangerous situation now. Yeah, this ain't looking too good. Or else definitely real bad. One drive impact. Or just a fireball will be a wrap. Walk into it, step in it. And that is Chrissy CH with the first W. <laughs> okay, let's go Chun Li. Putting in the work. Nice sequence. Chris battles out. What's up with that stand like kick? It's the OD Jirai, bro. That is a Chris special vibe ever seen one. I don't see anybody else whipping that one out. You're actually right. I think that's actually one of his one of his things that he's utilizing that stand like kick. The full effect. Okay. It's the heavily scale, but, but the Hokey, this is what you really want. Alami with that overhead. Falling off the bone right there. Throw. One more hit. We'll see what we neutral jump. The tech throw does not connect. OD fireball that saves Solid Stop from Chris CCH to seal That's the deal. Really well tonight, man. God, he is on fire. Floozy, what did you do? Yeah, what I was about to say, man? if it weren't for, for homie with the Dawson, then Chris might be running through Winner's Bracket right now. Looked like he really tuned it up after that L. Playing super sharp against the competition that we've seen tonight, even though it was the first time seeing him in the top eight. Mm -hmm. We were asking like, what does Chun Li do that's better than Ken? It's not about like the toolkit, it's just the fact that she's got what it walk speed, you know. Her corner carry is like you know, almost there. Oh, uh, good safe jump setups. You know, her normals are really good. They are outranging Ken's, but here's the impact. It doesn't matter. Got that impact. It's just like that. We see the side switch off the Dragon Lash. They're both the characters. Don't worry. Oh no. Ooh, he whips, though. That is so unfortunate. And the wake-up punish counter, just like that. Shine's going to take the round. If you're Shine, we absolutely take those. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. And it to me. I need it. For free. Let's not you right to the fireball. Like, her anti-fireball stuff is really good, as y'all see right there. Let's not you cutting through the fireball and get these follow-ups, more importantly. Kid had to rely upon his own fireballs to work out, and it's not working out here. For Chris, as he's interrupted, trying to dash in, but no completion right here. Shine, again, I have the best combos. Newly minted Chun-Li. We're really, we're ready just like that. I mean, Shine has shown the potential all night long to hit those. Level one juggle's gonna do it. Just like that, he stacks the win on the board. We are tied. Tied up right now. With the, with the Chun Li shine in the losers' quarters, hello. Shine turn up like volume. This is a shine that we, you know, like Shot is actually one of those cats that just plays so much. He's a grinder. You yes. see the results right now, man. Like he's good. He's real good. I think he's a fast one. I see, you know, yes. some people say he's a slow learner. I think he's actually. I mean, you have this character at this competency, drop combos mm -hmm. or not. Like this is high level. Nice side switch. Good job using that, that aspect of Chun's toolkit. Chris pokes out, though, and builds a ton of space and momentum. The throw is going to stack it even further. We dash forward, and we just take the plus frames, man. As long as you're in burnout, all these little chip sequences, man, they're good. And a big Fantastic punch here. Stuff. Yeah, you go for the parry to get as much far as possible. Chris is waiting and steady for that wake-up decision. Now we're in a bad situation, too, for Shine, because we spin a bar on that one. You invest resources and lose. That is not the way to put together a Street Fighter dub. Chris puts Chun Li in the corner early, backs off a little bit, got to build back some of that drive bar. High kick, walks up with the crouching medium kick, though. Knew that we've seen too many gym rise too often. Has some form. Shine puts himself in burnout, but it doesn't Big. matter. The jump in is on point. Disrespect, though. Chris said, I want my side switch, side switch super, and I want it now. Put Chun Li in the corner, stacks on the pressure, drive impact is good. That is a stun. What are we going to bust out here? Level two. Had the level one for the bust out for the side switch, and then found the level two. Chris on game point against Shine. Not for nothing, though. Shine has been doing so good, but Chris is like, when he has that momentum, it's hard to stop. Nice parry. Well done from Shine, showing they're still paying attention. Still looking for the win, even though they're down. See what you like to see. Show some tenacity. Oh, he's punished counter, but nothing after it, though. Tatsu. Those buttons that Shine's been utilizing to, like, stop and stop has not worked out. Now we see the run throw. Gets the punish counter, too, as well. Yeah, Chris is so annoying in the mid range, man. Especially with those perfect parries. You think that you're just gonna stick out a button, a button as good as Chun Li's stand medium punch. 
Yo, he almost got that Hizanshu too. Chris almost. is a sniper with the parries. Be careful, that's a parry into side switch Dragon Lash. Or this will actually be a side switch to the Dragon Lash. And actually, we'll go for the top two. In to the level to very well optimized. He's right on the dot. Jesus. Hell of a do at this stage. Absolutely. Get every every bit out of your advantages. That's the Evo winner, baby. That driver's rush jab checks so many reactions. Shine gets caught checking the throw in the corner. Chris gonna make him pay for it. This could be bad. He's on set point, man. Frustration DP. I definitely feel that. I definitely feel Chris ECH. About to take that victory if Shine will do something different. It's so hard. The trade. He's got to find his way outside the corner first and then put on the pressure, but it's not going to happen. Chris CCH goes for the low, the crouching to kick to seal the deal. And now moves on the bracket. You know, this, I, as a Kim player, I hate this matchup. I, I feel this, bro. I do not like playing Kim versus Kyle. Anti-fireball play, not so good for Kim. He can definitely win. It yeah. just takes so much to navigate those I moves, and Brian B is going to be difficult to navigate against. Yeah, seems to be the theme of the DJ choice so far. If your character gets something really annoying out of fireballs, I'm gonna try to challenge you with the DJ kit. Crossover jumps in, gets a, gets a nice little punish. Ryan D backs up. That is so annoying. It is, but it's one of those things you have to be careful with this recovery, those, uh, those something, those air slashers. You have to be careful, not get jumped That's on, fair. crossover. Let's find the double jackknife ender. Oh. $10 contribution coming in from Bison Boy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The match arena is still open. If you want to show some love to these players, give a little support, please consider dropping in a dime to the match arena. 100% please support these players. And my man is supporting, protecting his head right there with the crouch mm -hmm. Brian D finds the anti air. That's what you have to do with God. You know, he does have some great anti airs. Gotta space them out perfectly and choose the right one for the right Ooh. job. Perry, punish. Strike throw. Go for the throw. Yeah. Right after that, you're so close for that uh, throw or strike. Uh oh, might be good night. My boy pop in the corner. Trying to get cheeky with the fake fireball there. Brian made him pay for it and buy some separation. Yo, come on. DJ is so well equipped in that mid range space. That medium kicks and heavy kick. You get that punish counter, get a follow up with drive rush. Just have to be careful about what buttons you select out because there could be a drive impact beside a Brian D. Really just walks up and gets that awesome opening. Well done from crossover. Ties up the rounds here. It's been a bar, but it's worth. It's worth. Mm -hmm. You're definitely worth to get that W. And plus, crossover is on the verge of getting like level three if need be if he gets aggressive with it. Goes up that bar. Could be a good way to seal it. He also has level two to skip through a fireball if he's in the right uh, range to do so. See if he makes that read. Look at Brian just playing so passive and neutral right now. No booms, no buttons, just sort of sitting there, waiting for an opportunity, feeling things out. May crossover come in against him. That's how he punch that rushes in. It's a throw, dragon suplex. Now it goes to the low. There we go. Gets the dragon fang overhead right after. Checking his shins, okay. man. Yeah. Let's see if he's protected. Brian with a massive life lead right now. We're almost at 50 seconds. So this has been a little bit of a longer round. And Brian's just bleeding it out. But kind of going low on the drive stock. You choose drive impact. Crossover is ready with the response. We're gonna get the crumple punish. What do we got here? Moving to the corner. Stun could come along at any moment. At any point, good harassment continues. There it well. is. Drive impact. If he gets to the yellow, the damage ain't gonna be mellow. Watch this. Mm. Drive rush. Drive Rush again for the follow-up. Should be able to get to level three. Even if this won't kill, it will put him in a bad position because he's damn near dead. The massage parlor is massive when it comes to damage. Oh, bro, that, was, that was crazy. <laughs> DJ loaded. Oh, he's loaded. He's got some very rich parents. Yeah, I mean, DJ kind of paying off as a pick for crossover here. We've seen the investment. Turn around. That's what you want to see if you start picking up a new character and learning him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of see it. He's giving Guy a lot of problems with these fireballs. 
You definitely have to figure out how to do it these fireball. I mean, like, being able to air slash like that, cut through, you have to spend more bar. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what you not what, what you'd like to do as guy. You'd like to spin that bar for, like, like crouch overhead or crouching beauty kick. But has to spin the bar to get the knockdown. That plus DJ's OD fireball is crazy, man. It's like a launcher. You get hit by that, and he drive rush follows up. It's gonna be it's gonna be a nightmare for you. Ooh, oh, no, awkward. Yeah, looking for a carry spam for the knockdown OD. Yeah, see, right, having to spin that bar for the OD Sonic Boom knockdown. Oh, bad. Sonic Blade, just gotta keep up. Brian does have the lead at least, and you see him trying to parry to keep as much bar as possible so he's not burnt out. I like that adjustment. Trades the trade. The DJ just gets in there. We're starting the loop sequence. Hello? Brian fights out. Really? Light kick punish started it up, but we couldn't finish it off. 20 seconds left. The OD flash Please. kick will do it. He was ready. Caught him coming in, closed the door in front of his face. There we really? go, the level two to skate through go. the boom. Of course you got that rhythm, crossover. Don't play with me. Card evolved to make it fall. We're gonna drive rush forward. Action to the dash up throw will do the job. Have to spend any bar only in this sequence right here. Double jackknife, of course. It's out, but he's ready with the punish. Not done. We're playing well. Here he comes in. That's a foot crossover towards that burnout. Pretty big deal. If you're trying to make this comeback in this round, which you definitely want to do if you're Brian, lock this up. Get another point on the board. Don't let DJ get away with one. So so impact. Impact. Yo, that is splat. That was perfectly calculated. And that should be that. Yes, sir. Brian D had even more in the tank, too, as well, if need be. Now we're about to see game to game right here. Brian D evening things out. Had to spend some of that Sonic Boom, or OD, I should say, Ooh. bar to get these Sonic Booms off. But he yeah, also keeps it. See, you're right. Try to brush the Amphius right after. Look at them trying to line each other up and say, hey, I want to get my fireball sequence going. Nice, nice anti air fireball from DJ. Moves in, cuts off a lot of that screen distance, and then resets. So it's like, yeah, that's cool. I can play this game, man. Perry, Perry. Now the jump too as well, switching up the defensive options to get these Sonic Booms. Trying to find a, a jump in. Crossover. Maybe these uh fight some of these anti airs. What if Brian D will lock onto that? You do have some good ones like slide back heavy kick, but we'll see if crossover's ready. The way different pace of match, guys, than we're typically seeing in Street Fighter 6. Battle versus DJ, you know there's gonna be fireballs involved. They're gonna be trying to battle for dominance. A lot of resources at stake in this match. They're gonna be trying to nickel and dime each other, get small advantages that they can press into bigger advantages. That all leads into a lot more later on. I know people are like, oh, Sonic Boom stuff zone is pretty boring or whatever. But check out that, like the way that they're trying to keep bar and how yeah. Brian D has to use bar to get these knockdowns and how he's doing perfect parry and parry to keep his bar as much as possible to fight the oppressive style of the air slasher. Look at that, Brian in the lead right now. Crossover's gotta come to him to get that win and gets a fist with a DI. Nobody home. You might see a timeout, man. Nope, not needed. Brian prepared with the counter DI. They walk it down to the almost end of the timer. Brian comes out successful. Mm-hmm. Nice, a sway and play. That light kick, we talked about it. Punish, yeah, that's not good right there. It's minus if Brian D finds a punish. And Brian sharpening his right combos. We see some drops earlier in this set. Looking much better now, more punishing on those sequences. Okay. Crossover a sniper with that little sweep, man. That medium kick sweep. Mm -hmm. Right off the feet. I like that. Get him. Oh. Fishing for it. He knows. He's also fishing for that same heavy kick. Crossover looking for like that punish counter against the fireball. Preemptively tries to get a jump in. Anti from the side of Brian D2. Focused on the ground game. Oh, the there weird punish is there. Not too many punch starter. Jackknife on point. Empty throw. Oh. No right. way. Three pieces of level three. Gone the oh, Sonic Stepper. He was the remix. Oh. 
Oh, just whips the parry there. It gives up a little bit of drive meter, but still, a Neex Sonic Boom could be a very disastrous situation for crossover. We gotta be careful. Stuffs the driver. That was so preemptive. But the launcher! No, we don't get the juggle! Doesn't matter, he gives it to us. Still gives it up. Unfortunate. That's smart, though. At least crossover goes to the next round without using one of that bar. So, like, greatest of bot, I guess. Or even level three. Mm -hmm. That's true. Has Didn't level three right meter. now. That's a, that's a lucky thing, though. You didn't want to yeah, die. That was lucky. <laughs> that was very, very lucky. It was not, not well calculated, but it works out anyways. Brian D back in neutral, being so oppressive with the options, rotating through a lot of buttons, a lot of exchanges. DJ trying to find a sequence that works for him. OD flash kick says no thanks. Charged up, ready to deal with that drive rush. Same heavy kick, whoosh, it was uh, punished counter for the follow-up, the drive rush. No button yeah, Okay, here we okay. go. So bot in the level three immediately. Back to massage parlor. Yeah. That gives you a life lead if you're crossover. The drive rush into throw, even better. Push Kyle into the corner and a punish counter here. Can we close this out? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. As a crouching medium punch lands, crossovers. DJ is working out. I mean, Brian D's always been a guy on me, so it makes sense running this character. But I like the crossover has switched up when need be. Kid mm. wasn't working out, so now we see the DJ. Walks up with the throw. Crossover on game point. Here comes the resources game. Brian immediately has to spend three stocks to get in. Crossover with a small lead. In a dominant position with that air slasher, man. DJ making it look really problematic. It's now you see crossover switch up these options trying to walk forward instead of just like holding roll oh. on the whole screen. There it is again. Just cool light kick punish counter leads into so much. Yo, check that damage, Chad. Big juggle too. Pressuring with buttons. Look at all these perfectly spaced presses. We do get a brief punish counter from Brian, but he wasn't ready, man. He tilted. I can tilt it too. Crossover is on set four. They do a fantastic job. Drive rush that force. You can't even like start off with like a normal Sonic Boom like you'd like to, because the OD, even the normal will cut through. Crossover. Force to back off for a little bit though against Brian. Oh, oh. Checking him. Gets the punish counter on the second one. Let's go, Brian F with the clutch raid. Coming in with the 609. We appreciate you guys coming in right at Brian D. Is fighting for his tournament life back against the wall. Down one two versus crossover. Nice check crossover DJ. Like punch. Yeah. Of all things, it's working out. Perfect parry. Ooh. Perfect parry again. Strike throw. Goes to the low. The blocks though from Brian D. Walk it back. No way to tell you, but still text. OD, he's in. Drive rush. That'll back heavy it. kick. No way. He didn't close it. Yo, close it out. Close it. Don't let this golf stay alive and thrive. This gal's got a full stick of butter at the bottom. Do not want to get hit with level Ooh. three. Imagine. Imagine. He's charging it. He's charging it. Bad situation now. This is absolutely disastrous. Any projectile would do it for a crossover. Uh, finding some pretty decent. This is this to stay alive, but he whips the flash kick and crossover gets the punish. Advances three to one with the DJ over Brian D. That was a fantastic match, if you ask me, my man. I liked it. I liked Different it. I like that gameplay. Special something. If we could see Kimberly creep into winner side of grand finals, we're approaching the danger zone, ladies and gentlemen. We've already seen Diaphone conquer one guy tonight. Can he do it a second time against Knuckle Dude? Arguably the best to do it right now. 100%. Upside down kick connects. I thought that Sonic Boom meeting style. Diaphone have, having the whole parry to you know gain that bar back. Uh, what slips okay. in the medium kick? One of her best buttons. That might, again, be her best button to start the party. Yeah. Oh, Kyle just backs out of that? Really? It's a choice by Knuckle Dew. Early, too. And, ooh, we dunked them, but we lose the can set. It doesn't matter. The follow-up confirm is good. The iPhone just choosing to build a little bit of stock. But actually, funny, walking back, we hold the Sonic Booms, and we actually end up losing Drive Meter. <laughs> It's the anti right there. Dude is ready for that elbow drop. But still has a lot of work to do. Drive rush, anti air. That's why anti airs aren't the best in the game. You can drive rush anti air, things like that. Make them a little bit more dangerous than uh, you think. Ooh. 
Like yeah. the option. We put ourselves into danger now. The b burnout is very, very real. Low stocks on Ju, of course, as well, but he's in control. Hey! Oh, good hey! Flash kick to make sure the job is done. Paying attention. Great reaction from Dude. Not going into autopilot and finding the win. Typhoon just trying to creep closer. Close the distance. Push this guy out to the corner and shut the coffin. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. Close it out. Sonic Boom. All sets up for the overhead. Doubling down. Goes for the low, the resets. And now sets the boot to his face. Let me get up there. Put you down. 4 1. Yeah, Damn. to be honest, dude's playing pretty disgusting so far. Drive impact is a big way to get this started, though. Level 3, slow down this drive meter a little bit and get back some of our own with the buff active. Could definitely get it started. This could. Try hmm. rush. Is he overhead right after the stand fierce? Overhead, overhead again. Oh, they troll yeah. Oh, he just loses the stun, though. That's true, he's still alive. So wake up decision, flash kick to the gap. Back to full screen. Back to business with a punish again against the side. Same way you died. Yo, First game, Di Knuckle Dude. Diaphone was just short of getting that stun, too. Could have changed things up a lot if he ends up getting the full combo. But you're right, Knuckle Dude survives. Gets that 1 0 lead. Gotta be feeling pretty damn good if you do right now. Oh, fantastic. Look at mm. right Yo. Nice stoppage with the stand. Meteor kick again gets the knockdown. Dash up throw. The reversal jab, the one wake up with the flash kick in there. Okay, a big jump in combo like that. That's what we need. Put it in Knuckle Dew's head and also get a big damage starter. Throw's gonna set the situation we win. That sucks. Yeah, did not get the media set heavy kit that they like to have. It's plus, so it's like a good media option, but this did not work out. Walk up throw, text though, diaphone, damn near burnout. Really? Brother, the walk really? under. Chilling, vibing. My boy Mono coming through with the seven. Hey, I see you. What's Not be seeing you at first attack. Only a month away, what? baby. Dude, checked him there and he juggled. That means he was super ready for it. I am so impressed. The drive impact though. Okay, Diaphone's got a couple of these. I'm liking it. I'm liking that we're looking for that option. Yeah, buffed up, never a bad time to run that level three to get that buffing damage. Oh, with the speed, but actually runs in the speed bump with the flash kick. OD. Oh, try to make for the air throw option right there. Did not work out, Dipon wasn't even in the skies. Nice job, Kimberly juggles out. Did no that way. work? No, it did Okay, max distance at least. So we do not get the animation. Yikes, bro. Oh, this is bad right here. Careful these upside down kicks. I guess he can't leave behind. Yeah, right back to the jump back jab, the teleport. It's the certain colorings. You see that red in the up of the top rope? Go for the jump back jab. Two on game point. Competitive matches for sure, but dude definitely pulling away with a 2-0 lead. And looking strong going into this, this last game. You definitely don't want to have to win six games versus Guile. You do not want a Guile to be waiting in grand finals winner's side. That sucks yeah, for anybody left in this tournament. If you're Diaphone and you want to win, this is your chance. Don't let this away from you. This is bad, though. Form top side switch with it. Damn me to kick with nothing after it. Diaphone maybe break down a little bit, not able to find like a 10 me to kick confirm or anything off of that like, drive rush. Does find the throw, though. I lied. Finds a whip punish applied Diaphone. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, baby. It's not over. I like this fight back his diaphone. That's the deal with these uh, sonic booms. The very six it hard to simply slide. OD flash kick was just ready. Not having any of that run sequence. No thanks. That was a whiff punish. Well done from diaphone. Scouted it. Okay. Still paying attention. DI is no good this time. We were good for the first two. Knuckle Dude ready on the third. Really? No. Level three. The wake up. We talked about this before. You just want level three no matter what, right? But yeah. to wake up with that, we've seen Mini Fireball be the play from Knuckle Dude. Nice catch again. The trade conversion. That was sick. OD right. Top Two does it. Diaphone. No, no, no. Give board. me that. Give me that, Chad. Give me that. 
I need that. Ooh, I need that. Mm. Give me some more of that, frankly. I want to see this go the distance. We've had so many games go 3-2 to two tonight. Why not winner's finals with the Kimberly and winner's finals? Holy moly. The Sonic Boom knocked down. Spice like anti, you'll take that trade. Flash kick reaches. So much range on that flash kick, it's hard to like, like neutral jump and bait it out. Yeah, Even for the likes of Kimberly. Yikes. Oh. Yo. Dude looking really impressive in this game. Just trying to shut it down before this can get any momentum behind it. So low on resources, so low on life. The meaty DI though. Okay, we're kind of making this happen. We get this break in. No, we don't. That's a throw. Stan fierce, but OD flash kick to the gap. Just like that. Dude is on set point. We close it out now though. Let's see. So dangerous. Finds the entire crouch fierce. So annoying to get any aired by that guile button and immediately have to hold the crouching medium kick right after. Okay, Diaphone. We bust it open with the perfect parry. Walk him all the way to the corner. Meaty low. So we get a second confirm here. Setting up our offense. Break hands down. Ah, I love that. Good challenge here for nothing to do to stop and stuff. Oh no. Level three. Immediately. Drive gauge. Depleted. Help, man, damn near deleted. It's almost over. Look at this. Dive with the buff too as well. Walks oh, up, we completes the knockdown. Overhead again. Stay the offset point. Ninja fans in the chat, put up your Naruto's. Believe. Now's Essence. our chance. You can see it. Oh. Wait, hit the bait. Not enough. Falco, thank you so much for the biddies. We appreciate that. Everybody who dropped the support on the channel tonight. We've seen a lot of primes. Thank you guys. IPhone is grooving, man. Even a smoother right now. Level three is on the side of the oh. You'll we'll see that as a fantastic push. He finds one, finds a flash kick. Try to find the anti oh it with, but Dipho did not complete the conversion. Crouching light punch. Not lead into too much. Sonic Boom slanged Ooh. out by Knuckle Doo. Locking Dipho down the nooch. He seriously is, and he's playing such a brutal game with the drive rush. Look at this, all the sequences at favor do. He almost gets the burnout situation. Doesn't matter, Diaphone's gonna give it to him anyway, but at least it's at his convenience. On his turn, this? right? Yes. Oh, you're deader oh. than dead. The machine gun booms, uh -huh. clip through, and Knuckle Doo takes it three to one. Spike three, three to one, bro. It was close though. I feel like that was a close, close ass match. We're gonna go with DJ, okay. Gonna go with DJ instead. Okay, I think that's fine. I think that's, about DJ um, versus Ken. I think it's a uh, it's an annoying matchup for Ken every so often. I think oh, there's things that like Ken could do, like he can whip punish like Stan Fierce, crouching medium kick. But I do think that just cool light kick, that crack kick that you see, can delete that crouching medium kick off the table. So it's like an alteration back and forth between those buttons. Okay. A little rock paper scissors. But even more so, like the fireballs are nasty to deal with. Yeah. But the corner pressure also from Ken is nasty too. DJ cannot super to reversal if he's in burnout. So it's kind of bad if he gets that point. So we'll see. Yeah, I like the I like the mix up at least, you know, and crossover got the option. Maybe he just wants to feel it out for our game. If it doesn't go so well, we can switch it up. Looking okay so far though. Like in the mid-range that we're playing at. This is where DJ rules. Yeah, dragon ladder side switch. DP immediately. Oh, up in the corner. brother. Trade that DI, but did not work out. Ouch. I don't know what we counter hit, but it wasn't a clean in here. Dude, it's so good. He misses. He misses off the juggle. That's so unfortunate. Crossover could have had this first round packed up already. Chris with a chance to get back into this. Stake out some falling for him, though. Chris, why is he overhead? Oh, my God. You're a burnout. You're kidding me. Bad, and he dies. Round two. You're kidding me. All right, hey, Jackson. Jackson. Put, puts himself in burnout, though. The crossover be able to make something from this. Yeah, Chris burnt all of his dough, man. Side switches himself, so now he's back to the corner. We gotta be careful. Crossover could really apply pressure here. Psych! Actually, actually, Ken just going to stand a heavy punch into level three. Immediately. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's another one. Yo, I was gonna bro. say it's not bad for crossover, but Chris wakes up with violence. Tatsu DP all evened out. 
uh, yeah, man, Chris was pressing. I feel like Chris was not deterred whatsoever, not being in burnout, nothing at all. It does not matter. Enforcing his will right now. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that's that stand line kick. That's a, a blessed button for him. Perfect parry. Once again, Chris demonstrating mastery with the perfect parry. It knows those timings, making great use out of it. Just cross over all the way to the corner. Wakes up, level two. No, sir. Not going to go with Chris. He parries. He juggles. He finishes his play. Nicely done. Huge combo. Round ending potential ahead for Chris CH. Oh. We'll start a whip punch against that Sobaka. Not gonna happen. Drive our slide punch starter. This is the finish level two. You know to be damaged, dumped out. Make a crossover think. I should play Ken again. He's checking. He's checking with that 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 driver's jab. It's so annoying to deal with. It comes so quickly. Chris has been doing it to everybody all night, and once again finding success with it against crossovers. That's something that DJ loves to do. Oh my god, round start getting the run DP too, as well as a follow-up. No cross up DP, but this is fine. Get the gen right, right after. The DI counter from crossover. We do check the dra the drive rush though, so now we have a little lead on stocks. Meaty fireball, okay. Really? There's the air right there. He actually recovers in time to get the air to air. Anti air. The crouch fears. Gets on point with it. Now finds a gen ride. Let's it fly. The heavy two as well. Impact not what gonna theory. happen. Yeah, he really? That parry. Throws him out of the sway. I'm so surprised. Chris in burnout now, though. Still advancing. He, just, he can't be. He can't be like derailed, man. He is a he's train. He's coming. Yeah, no fear. Fireball. Oh, oh, he tried to run DP. Didn't work out though. Quack can start up. He got stuck. Flanging out the air slashers, this crossover. Hey. Run it right back, drive rush throw. Yeah, there's that driver slight punch. I mean, that, that's something that, you know, DJ could definitely do as well. Mm -hmm. Gain a ton of damage. Similar game plan. Oh, it's a Street Fighter 6 thing, baby. If you're not working that in yet, you're definitely missing a hole in your game plan. That's, that's a gap. Not with these players. They are prepared. They're playing meta. Chris with a huge pressure opportunity, a little bit low on stocks, but covering the control on the corner expertly. Okay, crossover had a chance there. He, he does kind of get out, Chris, with the crispy and here into the run. I like that. Salad bar, Chris, right there. You hear mm. it just cracking Yo. with that crouch for your side switch. However, crossover, one hit to tie things up. Oh, we're gonna burn out. This is bad, but for who? Jab. Look at me, a drive impact. Oh, you see the oh, slight walk back, Shimmy. Sick with Yikes. it and quick with it. Chris CH. Yikes. That was, tight. that was tight. That was tight. That was tight. Chris is playing well, man. No doubt about it. He doesn't get the combo for once. Actually, he drops that. He's been pretty automatic with that. Robotic, even. Pressures at the OD, after the OD fireball. The standing light kick into the OD Genrai into the level two. He's been going to that well several times tonight. The throw. Oh, it's like a punish, but perfect carry. The side of crossover on the minus frames. Yo, oh, what up, big with the sway. Nah, sway is so good up in this game. Oh, Things are getting real nasty. Massage parlor again from the back, now from the front. That's a big lead in the drive rush game as well. Meter is low for Chris, much lower, so it's gonna be, you know. A few seconds where a crossover can pressure chip, and Chris definitely doesn't want to be doing that right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, good jump. Perfect jump. Doesn't matter. Crossover finds the poke. Drive cancels into the win. Ties it up one to one. All evened out right now. This DJ pick might be it, but stops the drive rush with the crotch of the light punch starter. Ends it with the enhanced time. Trying to get the DP. Actually, he's able to get the hit because he committed to the dust sway light kick. Oh. Fearless. Back dash. Good sequence from Ken so far. Containing the corner. DJ fights back with all that separation he's built. Oh, what a huge whip punish from Chris. You can almost end this. Bro, we'll do it. There we 
go. Chris back in business, and honestly, stopping that drive rush is key to fighting DJ and key to surviving Street Fighter 6, to be honest. Oh, oh not that time, though. Can't believe. He tried. He, you see the counter a little bit late on the draw. Did not believe. The throw does still get us the corner control. That's been everything tonight. We've seen it match after match after match. Being in the corner in Street Fighter is a hellish experience, especially in 6. Chris gonna dash forward and get the hell wheel back throw. Okay. Ooh, Sway again. Punish counter. Again, check that damage. Back heavy kick. Just cool. Spending Just a ton. Level two. Crossover. Say, I go miss those. I got the rhythm and the rhyme, bro. Oh, the dash up. You see a bait too as well. He's ready. Oh, it looked like it was slightly delayed too. As well. I think it might have been slightly delayed right there. Maybe I'm bugging. But still. Based on the ODDP, game to game, round to round. Round start throw is how we start the party. Just so surprised at the competency level that crossover has been bringing with this DJ for the first time that I've seen it. And you really couldn't tell. Seems like he's got a lot of experience with this character. Sizing up Chris pretty well in the neutral, exchanging in the scrambles. Chris with a big opportunity now, though. Oh, that OD Jinrai, man, he's ready with it. And that stand like it just in general has like been really big in the initiating that gym line. Oh. Text a throw. Mm. Chris getting clipped with the fireball. Mm. Sweep off the feet with the crouching medium kick. Janitorial duties are being done here by oh, crossover. Brother. Oh brother. He's in Chris's head right now. Chris has got to find the perfect opportunity to challenge. That'll do it. Yeah, there we go. Run. DP a level three. And Chris, he's in CA. Close to killing. You gotta be careful. One OD fireball can spell disaster. He waits it out. Good job. And now everything is on crossover to get this done. But how do you how do you possibly make a comeback in this situation? Chris holds it down, goes ahead two to one. Man, oh man, that burnout was not the plan. Got cooked for that decision. I feel like trying to get that OD fireball to initiate something did not work out. Chris sit on set point. Look at that. Initiating against these sways. Finding these interruptions. Now putting him in the corner where Ken loves to work. See me in my office. Oh. OD juggle. Well done. Stacks on a lot of damage. Evens up the life bars quite a bit. The perfect parry on the crouching medium kick after the jab. We've seen it a hundred times tonight. Finally, crossover dials in on that sequence and punishes it. Nicely done. It's gonna hit. Yeah, side switch. Level one. Real good sub. Hey. Chris doesn't get in, but perfect parry punish. Some of these ranges, fireball, dry brush, stay fierce, don't right work out. You better get a plate. Right you better get a plate. Oh. Yeah, you get a plate. Extra oxtail and extra chance to stay in. Losers here. Crossover. Gets it right. Done. Crossover playing clutch still in the face of adversity. Down two to one. With it looked like Chris, Chris heating up. Crossover pulls a massively cl clutch situation and stays in this game. Wants to keep the tournament life alive. Mm. Overhead. Get a block. Now sweep. We'll find the side switch. Not just yet. Doubles down with the sweep, actually. Yo, and again, okay. another bait. The sway of play. Expensive, but look at that. Gets outside the corner. It makes Chris like rethink these drive rushes, you know, like yeah, what's gonna happen at the drive rush. And imagine Chris actually having to stop to rethink at some point because so far he's been playing on full instinct and in pretty much all the sets we've seen him. Nobody's been able to slow him down, stop him from doing what he's wanted to do. Kind of getting back to that mindset right now though. Ooh, checks him, checks him twice. Stand medium kick. Oh, that's not Dang. nice. Deleting the stand, fierce off the table, crossover back of business. Listen, Complex, he was talking about run the mirror, dog. He's running the DJ okay, bro. Relax. Yeah, it's all like good. It, Honestly. Two to two. I mean, you got to be feeling good if you're crossover, right, man? You start bringing this character into your arsenal, start feeling it out and say, hey, maybe this is something that I can use to win tournaments. And then getting big wins over, you know, maybe annoying matchups, whether that's the mirror match or charge characters or whatever you just feel like you don't want to play against with Ken. Yeah, and you whip it out and you get big success. Absolutely. Thank us for the fireballs, maybe making Chris think about his approach even more so. Now he's just jumping, just leaving the fireballs too as well. 
Yeah, it's really Ramora, nice. After, ooh, baby. Shouts to Ramora. I love you, Ramora. 38 months of support. Goodness gracious. That's so much. Crossover not consenting to these looping sequences anymore. And the stern, stern punish counter. Stan Fierce puts Crossover in potential to take this game. Are you kidding me? With the DJ. Set point right now. This character, people have been sleeping on too long. Same with Crossover. Finds the anti right there with the crotch fears. Chris. Oh, big mistake. But Crossover does not get anything off of it, unfortunately. Not but a slight punish, and now he's taken to the corner. East to west. We'll be taken and put the rest right now, because this is looking back, Chris. For the pressure, I lied to you. Just cool light kick again. <laughs> Saves a day. A level three about to be in play real quick here. No, he's going to wait until he gets that final hit in the level three. It'll be worth it. So close. Because crossover is still in a deadly situation with the drive stock so low. A beautiful anti air from Chris. The throw situation has begun. You know, crossover has been shown that he will let it rip all night tonight. Will he do it again? Fights back with a jab. Drive brush. Confirm. He's going to do it. He's going to take it over Chris. He's a H. Moving at 3 to 2 with the DJ. I walk around. They look at me like I'm a stranger, and that's A OK. -okay. Don't let them oh, hear okay. you, bro. You are iconic to the sound, that's for sure. That's nice. Anyway, <laughs> crossover, play DJ before kid. It's been so long, I don't even remember him playing DJ. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sets it up. Crossover getting things started early on. It's just an advantage, man. He's been oppressing people with this DJ. It's surprising. Don't get me wrong, but I love to see it. And he's doing it in a big fashion. He's dive early. Bro, he's beating him up. He's literally mm -hmm. beating him up. That fireball didn't really deal with the sway. Walks back. Stand like jab. Did not finish it. We'll get the throw, though. Crossover with the perfect KO. And what a way to start things off just so dominantly. Crossover. Over in the corner. Finds the anti air. Even those fake outs don't work out because of the range of the jackknife. He ran that. That's a minus eight all block, and he actually just ran it raw. This dude is insane. He is busting him up right now. Diaphone is, I would say, through the night. Been one of our most impressive competitors, especially with Kimberly flexing a lot of what this character is capable of. But it's been a full shutdown to start off by crossover. Just an absolute wall. Punishing to deal with. Look at this. Checking again. The sweep is good. Diaphone on life support here in the first game. That's going to be it. Diaphone getting it. deleted. Crossover coming through. Mm. Crossover DJ. dials in that level two. Brother, Bad. first game. That was too quick. That was 80% run done by DJ. Rushes in, checks him, goes in, gets it started off. Meaty slide. Can't really gonna have to hold this. Look at her, back against the wall already. Trying to poke, trying to check with these options. We do have them, yes sir, yes sir. Okay, I like this. Peppering in the buttons. Oh, Shin gets the counter conversion. Actually, punish counter conversion. Except the can. The tech, the throw does not connect. Baits out the ODDP. Okay, Diaphone, right at momentum, up in the corner again. It was a bait the entire time, but however, the back throw, crossover, finds the exit sign. I feel like Diaphone was really sensing an overdrive reversal there. It did not come. Crossover mm -hmm. playing it out. Gains the corner control. Pretty scary situation for Diaphone. You're playing a character with no traditional reversal. So you kind of have to play these games, man. If you don't want to, you don't have a choice. Challenging with the jab at the perfect time. DJ... Oh, I think back his turn. You nasty son of a gun. It don't work like that, bro. Diaphone ready with it. Hands up, blocking like a pack of Legos. Man said that was sucking my mind forever. That's one of those, brother. Diaphone fighting back, though. We did spend a lot of meter just now. The stocks are drained. Gonna play some catch up against DJ. But so far, Crossover just kind of backing up and giving him some space to work with. Sweep off the feet right there, the crouching medium kick. Now the Sabato ender, drive rush, text a throw though. Crossover in that perfect mm. range, like if they try to dash and you see like that, anti-air. Oh, but the anti ah. coming through for level three immediately. Play my tune, listen to my sound cloud. Kids bop. This 100% kids bop.
on the A track. Oh my god, his crossover confirmed until level two. We see, no, no, he has these. But as I go to give him his flowers, he loses the rhythm. And now we're in burnout. We're holding all this pressure. Kimberly advancing, finding big hits. We gotta clean this up. Where's the big winner? The overhead is good, but we spent all of our cheddar. He challenges, crossover challenges. Now we're in chip potential. Oh, this is so That's bad. True. Yeah, not so much you can really bad. do. Why? Has to come up with a super. Had to do so. You cannot leave gaps against Diaphone. You just can't, bro. He threads the needle. Stay solid. Stay sturdy. Damn. He had to run the super because that fireball's going to land. He's going to die for it. That's the energy that Diaphone's been bringing all night. Crisp reactions. Playing smart in the Street Fighter 6 specific situations. Very, very prepared. Crossover responds in kind though, instantly stacking on over 50% damage on Diaphone and corner pressure. The juggle is live. He's beating the snot out of him, bro. This is absolutely not a Kimberly round. No, he's going down. Perfect KO. Crossover. Looking like some crossfire right now, dog. Again, where's my man cooking? He's back in the kitchen. Paper back on. I can save this meal. Mm. DJ looking strong in this matchup. I'm not going to lie. Presenting a lot of complications for, for Kimberly in neutral. She's not able to just sort of open the can with the teleport. Just like that, he's got, he's got solutions. This is really tough. And big punishes, too. Whenever he finds these little hits, he's just making her pay so much. It's kind of feeling like Kimberly damage, but from the other side. Not any more nice. stand here. Spits the face. Run the match and will upper to take him down to the ground. Crossover on game point. DJ this wins. is once again quick when he has that momentum, he rides it. It's about to be it. That's what do you do now? Man. This is bad. That is really rough. Diaphone had such a great game, too. And for Crossover to respond like that in game three, such a dominant performance, Diaphone gonna have to dig deep and find something else, man. Get things started and do not let up. Because if you get on the back foot against Crossover's DJ, he's showing that he's gonna run through you. It won't be good. It really won't be good. Trying to find the drive impact, not gonna happen. Blocks are out. And fireball pressure, like, it's just not even like a normal fireball pressure. It's just used to, like, make Diaphone feel antsy, it feels like. Yeah. Then he gets in, so bot in their drive rush. The row to as well. Oh, yeah, it's no pressure to say that. It's kind of unique to DJ, right? A lot of characters have ways of simulating a fake fireball feeling, but DJ has a legit just pump fake, and it's so annoying to deal with. He dials you in by mixing it up. Great job from Kimberly getting underneath that OD. Doesn't matter, OD reversal there to bail him out. Just slides again, he's going for a Koa. And he finishes off. Well, this actually hit, I know it does level two again. And you see the reset, crouching medium kick, the plus six to seal it. Cross over on set point. I feel like this is also the way that Diapo died previously. These gaps, we see reversals right back, and now set point crossover. Mm. Not dead yet. Gets a confirm, takes a coast to coast, but misses the throw. And crossover gets a punish counter throw back into the corner. Diaphone now, his life bar is leaking, his drive stocks are down. Oh my god, this is terrible. Text the yeah, throw. At least. Oh, finds a jump in. That should be the win. Damn. How many jump ins have worked DJ, out? No DJ. answer from the side of Diaphone. Put a stuff and stop out to nothing. DJ. We'll see what happens. It's been a fantastic night. Five gifted coming in from Click Five. Thank you so much. We appreciate that support coming in late at the evening. This is Grand Finals, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to put some love into the Macharino, please feel free to go ahead and tip these players. They've been fighting all night. It's been an exciting one. A lot of tip, tips and turns that we didn't see coming. Knuckle do opening up with a big combo on crossover. That's what you need. You've already shown you don't want to let this guy get started, man. Do not. Hard to stop. Weird area to maybe inside with like sweet. So get crossovers backing up. He's putting himself in the corner. OD Sonic Boom. We'll have to see what Knuckle Do does differently against uh, crossover than uh, Brian D did because we saw Brian D mm, holding on to that bar a lot. You know, for the Sonic Boom, forcing crossover to come to him. This is a good round for Knuckle Do though. He's going to get the burnout, make things pretty much impossible for DJ. Closes it out with the checkmate situation. Nicely done. Very smart stuff right there. OD, let the jump in, covers the time. There's the Ooh. impact button. Perfect button option from crossover. He's a step ahead. Brother, that is nasty. The crumple, stand light kick into the mm -hmm. maximum upper. You get the side switch too as well, and some damage on top of it. Well, he, he benefited like playing, playing DJ, bro. Like oh, playing, bro. 
That's a real one. That's a real DJ. Dude spins the stocks, though. Goes all the way down to almost burnout. The parries get him back into this. Suddenly, look at that. Beautiful timing on the parries. We've tied up the stocks. And actually, we take a lead. And the parries. And the parries, too, as well. Crossover to one, trying to keep as much bar as possible. The level one bait, Ooh. though. Knuckle Do set himself up to get that level one. It's a lead now. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful punish from the crossover. Paying attention, finds a big hit. Level two is gonna put Dew into burnout. Not over yet, not over yet. But a great position. Crossover, you Close do, it. you have to get early wins, man. You do not want to go the distance doing a three-two, three-two win. That's just, that's just not fun to think about for anybody playing that many games against Guile. You want an early lead. Especially against like a Capcom Cup champion, bro. Just don't yes, let him get in that, that, that motion. Don't let him get comfortable, bro. They've been out here. Crossover also been out here too as well. He almost qualified for CPT. Just things did not work out for his, uh, I think it was his uh, passport or something that happened where he just wasn't able oh, to get in there. But he is still a Capcom Cup qualifier in my eyes. Empty logo, three-piece flash kick. Needy baits out the ODDP. This is nasty. Level three's on the side. A knuckle dude. He's going to spin the win. Watch. Flash kick interrupt of this boom loop city. And now got on the Sonic Steppers to seal it. Uh, I mean, it was an impressive answer from Crossover in that second round. Don't get me wrong. But putting everything together in that first game, dude looking very dominant. Crossover got to dig deep. Find a way to be stalwart in the face of Nepal Dude's boom pressure. Yikes. Oh, the flash kick. He was just ready for it. Definitely dealing with these uh, drive rushes as you should against this character or any character. Knuckle Do finds a punish counter, flash kick right after it. That crouching knee kick getting so much off the punish counter. OD gets the knockdown. Knuckle Do bleeding right now. Crossover bleeding. Perfect fairy. Like, like it, like it, like it. Chris crossover got big into the last game against Diaphone with the perfect parry. Not able to string it together this time against Dew. Unfortunate. But like what I see in, he's fighting, man. Nice anti-air. Was ready with the charge. Uncle Dew flying a test for his reaction. Stop working out. Drive rushing with the crouching Aye. kick. Bro, that begins so much. You're worried about overhead throw, low. Drive rush from Guile is nasty. Baby. <laughs> they made DJ so sick in this game. He's so great. Five rush back throw. Crossover's got bar, but has not found a way to exercise it. Okay. Level two. No drops. Except for that one. That's plus six to get that, that crush and punch. Yeah. That extension. Mm, checks him with the fake. OD fireball no good. Knuckle do solid in the corner so far. Hey, OD up kicks. That's not good. Knuckle do gonna take this to the bank. Going up 2-0. And grand final right now. Hey, I wouldn't hate crossover if he switched. I wouldn't hate if he fought it out. But definitely something has got to change. This dude is in full control. Something's gotta give, bro. He's going right back into it. He's going back mm. to the lounge, back to the switch. You see the kid up on the screen. Shoto's live. It's time. Shoto's activated. Got to win three Let's games in a row. Three games. That's hard for Kent. I mean, maybe this is a matchup where he feels more comfortable. Maybe he hasn't played enough of the style of Guile. And he's not prepared. I'm sure he's played Dew with the Ken. But let's see. Yeah. It's ride or die do. with the Ken until the reset. Dude was looking pretty Crossover comfortable. No! Oh, dude, he does not look like he's worried at all about this can switch. Pretty early win for Knuckle Dew in the neutral. Massive punish to follow it up. Crossover already in trouble. Back against the wall. Finds a jump in, though, and that's the side switch. Yeah, no, we don't go for it. Straight. Did not see a side switch right there. That would have led to so much more. Now you got to chase this character down in the screen. Sing at the Sonic buttons in the drive brush throw. Extra damage. Yikes. Really? Really? Cola, come on. People aren't supposed to play like this. It's, not it's fair. actually insane. It's not fair. Knuckle do one set point. Tournament point. And touch him up with these pokes at max distance, too. Yikes, man. Jeez. 
Drive us, bazooka, bazooka knee. We've been seeing that cover so much space tonight. Oh, Knuckle is playing really well. Checks the OD fireball. Things are going from bad to worse for crossover. The burnout coming through any second now. If he holds a single sonic boom, he builds a little bit. Yeah. Yikes. Back walking away, but it's so close. Now in burnout, and this is bad. Level two is on the side of Knuckle Duke. He could also just close it out if he mm -hmm. wants to. Oh, he's going to spin the cash. I, it's I not see over. the yellow. Please don't be over. I'm not done. Please don't be over. Cola yet. Please. I want to see I'm more. Fun. It's been a good Stay night. Stay alive. Come on, Stay alive, please. crossover. No. Left two, three. Kyle and the Sonic Steppers. It's immediately out of wait, there. Dude. He's <laughs> out of there. Knuckle Dude takes TNS again. Second time in a row. He said, I don't want to watch the cutscene, bro.